Добрый день, Good afternoon, colleagues. On the 25th of August in 2018, the first blogger in Uzbekistan was arrested. This person has physical uh, uh, difficulties. He has to uh, move around in a wheelchair. He was arrested. His equipment was seized. He's been liberated now, but all of his equipment has not been returned to him. He's just someone who is an activist, who was standing up for the honor of his family and his daughter, who were banned from attending school with a headscarf. He only had one brief post. He said that since I am disabled, I cannot move around. Who can accompany me? That's all he said, and he was arrested for this. There were also some other arrests, up to 30 people were arrested. The first uh, 10 days of December, religious uh, activist was fired only because he contacted the president saying that the laws are not being enforced. Many colleagues are now quite optimistic with regard to new, new reforms in the country. I'm not that optimistic. Today, Uzbekistan is being controlled from abroad. It's investing uh, its capital by oligarchs, Mr. Rushmanov, Falsho Khadikh, against whom uh, case, charges of corruption have been initiated in Europe and in other countries. They are investing through offshore companies. This is nonsense. Can you invest through uh, an offshore company into a country? This is something we really need to focus on. Also, I would like to draw the attention of OECE to the fact that in Uzbekistan, there are grant programs for state organizations. Through the OECE, through the United Nations, these funds are being uh, provided to state structures. There are very many uh, corrupted elements there. Please inform yourselves. There's just too much information to provide here. Thank you very much. Thank you.